I hope I'm recording. Okay, I'm doing my catacomb exercise here. First I did this one, printed it out, and I wrote down all my X and Y points. I do this first. Then I fill this out. So this is a starting point. So they want center of tool here. Now I already wrote it down. This is the coordinate. And that's what I'm going to plug in there. And I go down here, and it says uh, fast feed to depth. And right here it says depth, 625 deep. So G1 minus 625. Okay. Now we're going to do this with cutter comp. Just same exercise as the linear interpolation, but uh, we're going to use the, the print coordinates, not the center of the tool. This this is center of tool, but after that it isn't. We're going to tell the machine to compensate depending on uh, this right here in your tool offset register. Okay, so G41 is going to stay to the left. So as we go along here, this tool is going to stay to the left. So we're actually approaching the Y0 but turning on the compensation as we go there at 12 inches a minute. Alright, so that puts the tool right about there. Then we're going to go to each point. So we're still in G, this is G1, that's G1, that's G1. This is called modal. Once it's in that mode, it stays in that mode till you tell it something different, some other G. Alright, so this is G1 to Y0, and this is going to be G1 to 3.5. Then we're going to do a circular clockwise, that's G2. And we're going to go to these two coordinates. Bang, bang, and the radius. The radius of this. And if you... Later on I get the I's and J's, but I and J is the incremental position from where you're starting. And I, J, and K are equal to X, Y, and Z. And we're not using Z, so it's I and J. So I is incrementally in line with the center of the arc. So that's zero. And the arc center is a half of an inch in this direction. So that's incrementally negative 0.500. But the R method is way easier. All right, so we're here. We're going to go to here. We're back to G1. We go to this coordinate right here, and we only need the 3.5. You don't need the 4, because this, this did not change. Then we're going to go another circular to this coordinate right here, 3.5 and minus 4, same radius. And we're going to go linear to here, which is... Uh, where am I? 0.5, because the Y did not change, so we only need to put the X coordinate in. And now we're going to go counterclockwise, which is G3, and X0, which is this position right here, X0, and Y negative 3.5, same arc size. And then we're going to go all the way up and cross the finish line at... 0.25. It says right here, position off at least half the cutter diameter. Alright, so 0.25 would be half. And then we're going to exit. We have to turn the compensation off. We have to cancel it. So it's still a G1 move, but G40 is canceling the G41. We're shutting it off. So when we're shutting it off, we have to go to tool center position. So, and this is a... And this is not critical. It just needs to be away from the part. So 0 0.25 and 0.35. That's where we started, so that's that would be clear. And this would rapidly go up to one inch, shut the coolant off, and this is go home in Z, turn the spindle off, and end the program. Okay. So now I have, and there's some reading on this here. This is uh, one I just did, and I just laid out all my points. It looks like everything's on the Y positive side here, except for the starting position. 
So in this case, using this example, I'm going to write a program. Okay, so uh, let's see, what does this say up here? T, oh, T12. T12 and M6. M6, and I can learn how to shorthand. And that's, I'm going to just put a thing in here that says point seven five e m I just shorthand everything left hand and it's four fifty deep use has calculator get speed and feed um ah for now I'm just gonna use the feed and speeds up here I'll get oh wait a minute they're right here <laughs> feed and speeds all right so that would be this first one is a move move here okay I'm just gonna copy this right down G ninety G54, G00, X what? X there. Minus 0.35 and Y minus 0.25. Okay, now I gotta turn the spindle on. Spindle on. Calculator. Uh, I happen to know it in my head, so to do surface feet per minute. So that's. Uh, 275 times 3.82 times 0.75 equals 787 RPM. Like a roundup. Not that important. Okay. And over here, M3, which is clockwise. Alright, what's the next thing I gotta, I gotta turn the cutter compensation on this? Tool and it needs the H has to match. And I'll use the same Z and the same coolant dot. Okay. This oh this is the depth command. So G1 Z minus 450 and feed rate is chip per tooth. Did it say how many flutes this thing had? Oh, four flute cutter. All right, let me get my uh, Haas workbook. Haas workbook. Right? No, that's a lay book. All right, here we go. Haas workbook. Right in the back here. Uh, feed, milling feed rate. Feed per two times T times RPM. Okay, feed per tooth is 0 0.0025. I'm going to do it right here. 0 0.0025 times teeth, that's 4, times RPM. Okay. 0 0.0025 times 4 times 788. Equals 7.88 inches a minute. F 7.88. Okay. And let me redo my. I don't know if I did that right. Let's see. 275 times 3.82 divided by 0.75. No, I did it incorrectly. This should be 1400. So what I get, that must make this one wrong. So I gotta change that to 1400. Point zero zero two five times four times 1400 is 14 inches a minute. Okay. All right, back to this. Let's see. So it's really the same thing, only just more points. Alright, so I'm at depth. I'm at depth. G41. I need my G41. I need where to go. Let's see. I'm going this way, and I need to go stay to the left. That's climb milling. I'm going to go in that direction. So I'm going to approach X0. X0. I'm going to use the D12. And uh, feed rate, oh, feed rate I got right here, F14, okay. 
Now I just got to go G1s or G3s or something. Okay, so I'm going to go up to here. So I'm going to go, I mean, G1. I'm going to write it down anyway. G1, Y3.5. Then I'm going, uh, let's see, clockwise. That's G2, X.5, Y4.0. Back to G1, which is X, 6, and Y did not change. I don't have to add that. Counterclockwise, which would be X, 7, and Y, 5. Back to line, X, 7. I know I probably don't need to write all this, but... And we're going clockwise again. G2, that'd be going to here. That'd be X8. Y7. And we're going back to G1s. We're going to here. Which is X8, Y0. Going to here. Which in reality, I don't have to change that. X5. Yeah, this is uh, counterclockwise, it's G3, I'm going to there, that's X3, Y0, and the R is the radius, 1.0. Or, I can use my I and J, let's see, incrementally, the X is different, so that would make the I different, and it's negative direction, that would be a negative 1, and the J which is equivalent to y is on the same so that'd be zero okay just thought i'd practice that okay I'm, I'm here i'm going to here and i'm going to go cross the finish line at the end so let me see i'm going to go g1 x uh, negative point three five oh i'm cross the finish line and now i need to put this Compensation off move. So I'm gonna go Y. Where did I stop? Minus 0.25. Or maybe I'll add a little more because I'll I'll go a little bit this way. I, that should be clear. Oop. Let me write that correctly. All right, done. And if I plug in all the rest of this, it should be done. And, and M30. Done. I'm going to plug this in the simulator and test this out. But now I can, I can take a screenshot and submit this. I'm done with that assignment.